Good morning, friends. It was 37 degrees here this morning, and it was our first frost. So, welcome back to Serenity Mountain Farm. Today, I am going to take you on a quick, and I mean quick, because we only had one hour and 20 minutes before my husband needed to shut it down for the day because he works night shift to get in the bed. So I did not pick up the camera to try to set it up to film. Sorry about that lighting back there, but I'm trying to get this done. So down at the lower garden, I'm gonna turn you around and go ahead and show you what we done. Here comes everybody thinking I got treats, but I don't. So you're probably gonna hear them yell. They had to go on a diet because everybody's pregnant and I didn't want them to get too big so they don't get treats now and they're not quite happy. So we did, um, this is all the strawberries I got to keep from my green stalk planter. All of those. So I am going to put leaves on here today once I blow all these up into a pile but we have tucked everybody in for the winter we have amended the soil um, that was a bag my husband found in the woods that I'm going to be taking to my mom she uses pot and soil um, but that was beside the point yes but you're not the boss so we have tucked everybody in for the winter all but the stinging nettle yeah and that is a hot mess that i told my husband he could dump in the woods because i have more than i'll ever use then i have to research today on how to overwinter bay leaf um and then i need to harvest some off of it as well and then we have let the sides down on the greenhouse and I am in the process of putting plastic up over the doors. I am going to take the tomatoes up today. Um, they're turning this weird white, I don't know what, and dying out. Um, I am possibly going to take my jalapenos up. I will not grow this variety again because I was really not happy with it. They're so small, you really couldn't stuff them. Um, my carrots definitely need to be thinned out. So I'm going to be working down here today. And this is my son's ghost pepper plants. And they're turning. I will probably pull my eggplant. I don't know if I should leave them or not. They look yuck. But they're blooming. We've not gotten any off of them yet, and I don't know. I don't know what to do. So, yeah. Here is carrots that I got to thin, and also um, sugar snap peas that I have got to get trellised up. So, I've got to get those done today before, yeah. See that morning glory? I want to wrap around that. Um, anyway, I have got to go through here and work on this bed as well. So, these beds are still active. Thin in this carrot bed as well. If I don't thin it, I'm just going to go ahead and pull them all up and wipe them out. Because, yeah, I don't know what else to do. And um, that's my son's pepper plants he was trying to grow. And then, we have done the same with the back kitchen garden so for the back kitchen garden we've put it to sleep as well all but one bed because that's where i'm moving my garlic back to because it done so well up there i am going to look and see what i need to do for my 
blackberry, raspberry, muscadine, scuppernog plants um, to overwinter them and be ready. Good morning, Bootsy, again. Boots will say hey. Tell them hey, Bootsy. Say hey, Bootsy. Bootsy, Bootsy. And this is Ginger. Ginger. Let's see, Patches, Winnie, Willow, and then we have um, a few more possibly coming to the farm next week and one of them will be in milk so I'm super excited about that all of these are due January the 20th through the 24th so yeah so anyway getting back to my garden thing um, I am going to our pear tree did not produce this year and that's year two and I told my husband I would learn or we trimmed it I'm gonna fertilize it real good if it doesn't give us anything next year it's got to go so I know how to overwinter my blueberries and what to do for that but it's just the raspberries blackberries and muscadines and I probably have a, about 20 new blueberry plants. But I have left my cup free plant for the winter. So this is the back kitchen garden. And all of it has been amended and put to sleep as well with blocks holding it down. Same for up top, all but my cup free. I did leave it, but everything else, this is the walkway, but this bed right here, we did not cover because that is where I plant my garlic because it does so well there. Hey, Atlas, Atlas. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. And my farm cat, my farm key cat. So, all right, you guys, that's just a quick update because I didn't have time to set the camera up or anything. I knew we needed to get this done today. Rain is supposed to start moving in. So that's what we done this morning. Got this garden put to sleep. So here, if we're planting by the, planting by the moon, here in the North Georgia mountains where I'm at, the best time to plant garlic is November the 1st and 2nd. So I'm fixing to get that going. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys on the next video and have a blessed day.